Good day, everybody. How are you all doing? This is Dr. Nandi. Today, we are going to talk about an AP problem in finding mean and standard deviation of a distribution. Uh, before I get started, I would uh, like to point out that my channel has got all kinds of solved problems in maths. Calculus, statistics, algebra, trigonometry, then AP stats, then GRE, um, one preparation, you name it, I got it. So why are you hesitating? Please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner of the screen. So without further ado, I'll get started. A certain game uses a set of cards consisting of odd numbers. There are one, one, three threes, two fives, one seven, and three nines. The mean value of the deck is 5.4 with a standard deviation of 2.8. If someone purchased three more decks of these cards and combined them into a single large deck, what would be the mean and standard deviation? Okay, so mean is uh, alternative A, mean is 5.4, standard deviation is 2.8. Alternative B, mean is 5.4, standard deviation is 2.95. Alternative C, mean is 16.2, standard deviation is 2.90. Alternative D, mean is 16.2, standard deviation is 8.4. And alternative E, mean is 21.6, standard deviation is 11.2. So how do we solve this problem? So let's consider the original deck of cards. We have one card, of number one, okay? We have three cards containing number three. We have two cards containing number five. We have one card containing seven and three cards containing nine. So total number of cards is one plus three plus two plus one plus three, which is four plus two, six plus one, seven plus three, 10 cards. So what is the relative frequency of each cards? For number one, it is one out of 10.1. For number three, it is three out of 10 or 0.3. For number five, it is two out of 10 or 0.2. And for number seven, it is one out of 10.1. And the last one, relative frequency of number nine card is three out of 30, I mean, three out of 10 or 0.3, okay? Now, total number of cards is 10. So now we somebody buys three packs of these cards okay, and combines with the original deck, okay? So now we have three plus one, four cards containing number one. Then because we bought three packs, three, three times three is nine plus original three, 12 cards of three numbers containing number three. And we bought three packs, so three times two is six plus original two, eight cards containing number five and three cards of number seven coming from then three new packs plus one from the original pack. So four cards containing number seven and similarly 12 cards containing nine. So total number of cards in this combined three plus one, four pack is 40. Four plus 12 is 16 plus eight is 24 plus four is 28 plus 12 is 40. Now look at the relative frequency of each card. So for number one, it is four out of 40 is 0.1. For number three, it is 12 out of 40, 0.3. For the third uh, number five, it is eight out of 40, 0.2. For seven card, it is four out of 40, which is 0.1. And for nine, it is 12 out of 40 or 0.3. Since the relative frequencies of each type of card remains the same in the new deck as in the original deck. So the correct answer is Answer A, which says mean is 5.4, standard deviation is 2.8, which is same as the original deck. And the reason is the relative frequency of each type of card in the new deck is the same as the relative frequency of each card in the original deck. So I'll stop here today. If you have any question, please write me a comment. I'll get back to you. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. We have all kinds of problem, math problems solved for you. And I'll be coming back next time with another AP problem in stats. Take care.
have a nice day see you